five mark straight line graphs question in your GCSEs. Don't neglect this because students always ignore straight line graphs when they revise for their final exams. So what's it saying here? We've got a sketch of the line L. It says this coordinate R is such that the ratio of P to Q, Q to R is two to three. Find the coordinates of R. Okay, so this point R here is such that the ratio of P to Q and then Q to R is two to three. Two, three. Okay, so we somehow need to work out, so we know what P and Q are, we need to use those coordinates and knowing that that's worth two parts, we need to somehow use that to help us work out where R is. Okay, so the first thing we probably wanna do then is work out how do we go from P to Q, okay? So if I just do another sketch here, we have P, which is at minus six, zero, and we have Q over here, which is at zero, three. How do we go from one to the other? Okay, you're just saying how much across you're going and how much up you're going. And the easiest way to find this out, if you don't have a diagram, is to just subtract the coordinates. It's like vectors, to go from this to this, you do this minus this. Okay, a bit of muscle memory for you guys. To go from this to this, you do this minus this. All right, so I'm gonna do that here. So we have zero, three, subtract, minus six, zero. So this is known as column subtraction. Yeah, my students know it as Colin, like Colin the caterpillar. So column subtraction, zero minus minus six is six. And this is the reason why I do column subtraction because students always forget about the double negative, all right? Then we have three minus zero is three. So all that's saying, remember this is the X and this is the Y. So we're going across six and we're going up three. Now remember that's worth two parts, okay? So these are worth two parts. We need to figure out what three parts would be worth. So let's just work out what one part is. One part, we're just gonna divide these by two, three and 1.5. So then three parts, times in this all by three is nine, and times that by three, you're basically adding these together. Three plus, six plus three is nine, three plus 1.5 is 4.5. Now that's from Q. So from Q, we're gonna go nine across and 4.5 up. So we're going nine across, 4.5 up, okay? Now remember, these are being added to this because we're going nine across, nine plus zero is nine, then you're doing three plus 4.5. Yeah, and that's gonna take you to R. So R is, you're at zero, we're going nine across, so nine plus zero is nine. Then at three, we're going up 4.5, three plus 4.5 is 7.5. And that's your answer. I probably wouldn't say two marks is very generous for something like this, but this is coming up towards the end of the paper if it were to be asked. Yeah, a lot of students wouldn't be able to do this, not you guys, but that's why they don't distribute many marks for it. Then it says find an equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line L, so perpendicular meaning 90 degrees, and passes through Q. So it passes through here. So we have a line which is perpendicular, meaning 90 degrees, going through Q. Okay, so 90 degrees and talking about straight lines, we're thinking about negative reciprocals. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work out the gradient of L, then do negative recip, okay? Now, how do we work out the gradient of a line? Change in Y over the change in X. Change in Y is a subtraction, you're subtracting the Y values, then you're dividing by the subtraction of X values, which we've already done. Did that here. Yeah, so that was your Q and P, Yes, this was your Q and P, and it doesn't matter which way around you subtract them. I took them away. So that three is the change in Y, and that six is the change in X. So my gradient is three, that change in Y, divided by the change in X, which simplifies to a half. Okay, now look at your diagram. Does that look like about a half? It does. And now we're gonna do our negative reciprocal to find the perpendicular. I call that MP. The perpendicular gradient is going to be the negative recip. Negative means changing the sign. Then you switch the two and the one. That'll become two over one, which is just two. 
And then finally, we have this point Q. Now, because it's 0, 3, this is the y-intercept, which means it's actually easier to use y equals mx plus c. But my students all use y minus y1 is m x minus x1. Um, and they know that that's a very easy formula to use. But in this situation, because you have the y intercept 0, 3, you can just write down the equation straight away. y is the gradient, so m x plus the y intercept, which is 3. And the fact that that's three marks and this is two marks is astounding to me. But there we go. This is our revision for straight lines complete for now. Guys, if you learned something new, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe for more GCSE content. If you want to join the Lung Gang Reddit page to submit your own questions, link is in the description. Uh, and if you're interested in my GCSE courses, information is also in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Noi.